Hello, hello! I am Ben Pick, and thank you for joining me in Running to Write, where I give questionable writing advice through running metaphors. This month, I participated in Margaret Pinard's Black AuthorTuber Readathon. Based on my interests, I chose to read the winter horror anthology called Served Cold. Served Cold is a combination of about 20 short stories created by author tubers and booktubers, all with a wintry horror theme. Some of the stories include visiting family in remote log cabins, rescue missions to distant scientific stations, camping trips gone wrong, and descents into madness as the narrators desperately cling to life. Not to mention there is plenty of bloody fun in the snow. This was a labor of love and that comes through in the storytelling. So extra bonus as this video comes out on Valentine's Day. I will always be a sucker for a good horror story and snow and horror go hand in hand. I've been to some fairly remote places, though none as dire as those in these stories. Even when I felt completely safe, I couldn't help but think, what if everything were to go wrong? Which makes me naturally inclined to horror and thinking the worst case scenarios. Freezing to death is an isolating and grim experience. It's slow, allowing the narrators of these stories a chance to reflect on their lives all while their bodies weaken as their warmth extinguishes. That storytelling mechanic allowed the authors to flex their skills as they explain what it means to be human and to not give up in the face of adversity, supernatural or otherwise. All that to say, I am here for this anthology as it mingles cold and death in intriguing ways. Not to mention that at the time of recording this, we are breaking out of a severe cold snap as winter approaches back to more normal temperatures. That means that it was the perfect time to curl up on the couch with a Kindle and read about frozen misery. As most of the prose, characters, settings, and themes vary wildly between the stories, it would be unfair to rate the overall anthology as I do for my other book reviews. Instead, I'm going to discuss two stories in particular, one by D.L. Tillery and another by Aphrodite Lee, who are two author tubers that were the focus of my readathon segment. D.L. Tillery, known as the Mistress of Horror, wrote the short story Fractals, which offered a new perspective for me and created a perfect horror mood at the start of the story. The main character, Delory, was a little bit conceited as she was bragging to a friend about how she's expecting her boyfriend to propose to her as they go on vacation together. I don't understand that expectation of having a significant other and expecting them to propose to me, though D.L. Tillery did a wonderful job of pulling me into the story and empathizing with Delory's struggles even if she was a bit selfish about how she was going about it. The closest thing I can think of is watching from the outside as a few of the people in my life took extremely long times to propose to their significant others. I could watch the frustrations bubbling within those relationships. As I know the characters are in a horror story, I was awaiting with eager anticipation to see how all of their plans would unravel. Because if there's one thing that's true for almost all horror, it's that the characters cannot have nice things. Though Dolores' frustrations make sense, she shows an incredible lack of foresight under duress. After spending an entire day driving to a remote mountain, and then most of the next day hiking up said mountain, she forces one of those what are we relationship conversations as a blizzard rolls through. Despite me instantly siding with Delory's significant other, D.L. Tillery's story made me empathize with Delory and eventually changed my opinion. Not surprisingly, things only get worse for Delory after her anger-fueled relationship conversation. I'll be honest, I thought the story was going one way only to have the final jab moment at the end make me change everything I thought I knew. The ending made me like her journey much more and understand the strong emphasis on her relationship. Moving on, Aphrodite Lee's story, named Ensnared, is about a man who gets caught in a snowstorm and wanders into the nearest log cabin he finds. There are a few stories within this anthology that start in a similar place, and it is fascinating to see how each of them evolves and diverges into wildly different stories. Aside from the most basic level of a man and a woman surviving in the safety of a cabin, these stories share very little in common. 
I also appreciated Aphrodite Lee's ability to sneak the theme in throughout the story until we get to the conclusion where all mysteries were revealed. The character's banter goes back and forth as the person controlling the conversation shifts with each page. Her prose subtly hinted at what's to come in playful ways, all while maintaining the dread of a horror story. The characters felt like real people trapped in extenuating circumstances. I can imagine placing myself in their situation with a storm rolling in as I try and deal with dire consequences. I know that I would have fared much, much worse and been ensnared. But I'm And that's my cue that this review has gone on for too long. As for the other stories, I didn't get a chance to mention how the teenage vandals in an affluent neighborhood get what's coming to them in the most satisfying way or how a rescue mission goes awry due to details I'm not going to spoil. So horror fans, do yourself a favor and read The Chilling Tales in Served Cold. Reading it will also show your support for a lovely bunch of author tubers and booktubers. Even on the coldest days, reading these stories remind me that it could get a whole lot worse. Or I could break this book out during the summer when the temperatures hit triple digits to remind myself what it's like when things get back into the negatives. This has been a short review as I share my thoughts. Let me know if any of you out there would like to read this anthology yourself and discuss it as part of the readathon. I am Ben Pick, and thank you for joining me in Running to Write. You can avoid being caught in your own horror story by pressing those like and subscribe buttons, especially if you enjoy what I do here. Let's get personal by bragging in the comments section. What is the coldest temperature you've experienced? And what's the most remote destination you've gone camping? Do you agree with my opinions about the anthology, or is everything I said wrong? I post my running and writing progress on Instagram and Twitter as running to write. So be sure to follow me and join in with your own thoughts. See you next time. Until then, read served cold and appreciate that the days should theoretically be getting warmer from here.